Jonathan had ascertained that his father Shaul determined to kill Dawid. Jonathan said to Dawid, Go in peace, for as much as we have sworn both of us in the name of Yahweh, saying, Yahweh shall be between me and thee, and between my seed and thy seed for ever. And he arose and departed, and Jehonathan went into the city. Of the books called Shemuel the first, chapter 21. Then came Dawid to Nob, to Ahimelech the priest. And Ahimelech came to meet Dawid trembling, and said to him, Why art thou alone, and no man with thee? And Dawid said to Ahimelech the priest, The king hath commanded me a business, and hath said to me, Let no man know anything of the business whereabout I send thee, and what I have commanded thee. And I have appointed the young men to such and such a place. Now therefore, what is under thy hand? Give me five loaves of bread in my hand, or whatsoever there is present. And the priest answered Dawid and said, There is no common bread under my hand, but there is holy bread. If only the young men have kept themselves from women. And Dawid answered the priest and said to him, Of a truth women have been kept from us about these three days. When I came out, the vessels of the young men were holy. Though it was but a common journey, how much more than today shall their vessels be holy? So the priest gave him holy bread, for there was no bread there but the show bread that was taken from before Yahweh to put hot bread in the day when it was taken away. Now a certain man of the servants of Shaul was there that day, detained before Yahweh, and his name was Doeg, the Adomi, the chiefest of the herdsmen that belonged to Shaul. And Dawid said to Ahimelech, And is there not here under thy hand spear or sword? For I have neither brought my sword nor my weapons with me, because the king's business required haste. And the priest said, The sword of Goliath, the Pulishti, whom thou slewest in the valley of Elah, behold, it is here, wrapped in a cloth behind the air ford. If thou wilt take that, take it, for there is no other except that here. And Dawid said, There is none like that, give it me. And Dawid arose and fled that day for fear of Shaul, and went to Achish, the king of Gut. And the servants of Achish said to him, Is not this Dawid the king of the land? Did they not sing one to another of him in dances, saying, Shaul hath slain his thousands, and Dawid his myriads? And Dawid laid up these words in his heart, and was very afraid of Achish, the king of Gut, And he changed his behavior before them, and feigned himself mad in their hands, and scrabbled on the doors of the gate, and let his spittle fall down upon his beard. Then said Achish to his servants, Lo, you see the man is mad! For what reason then have ye brought him to me? Do I like madmen, that ye have brought this fellow to play the madman in my presence? Shall this fellow come into my house? Dawid therefore departed thence, and escaped to the cave of Odolam. And when his brothers and his father's house heard it, they went down thither to him. And every one that was in distress, and every one that was in debt, and every one that was bitter of soul gathered themselves to him, and he became captain over them, and there were with him 
about 400 men 